your intellect is ruining your attraction with women. The painful part is this. You don't want to be there. You don't want to analyze the joy out of life. You want to create real attraction, not just with women, but with the world around you. And intellect comes in between that. It is the kryptonite to persuasion, where emotion can sell even a piece of dirt. Logic sells nothing. As an introspective man myself, I know that can get painful. Here's the good news, and you are probably not aware of this. So where you think you might be at a disadvantage as an introspective man, you're wrong. It is a hidden superpower that can be transformed into attraction, influence, and persuasion. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how. In fact, the, the greatest seducers of our history they all had this trait and it comes natural to you. You just need to know how to mobilize and express it. And that's what we will talk about in this video. So the key is this, let's describe you a little bit, right? You are very curious about your own psyche. That is what introspection is. Um, it is curiosity about your perception of the world around you and also how the world around you works, right? So I dare to say that there is a lot of curiosity within you. Second thing that I dare to say is that you might have developed the skill of empathy as a result of that. Someone who is curious and interested like that usually develops empathy. This will turn out to be very important in later steps. Now, the key is this. You can turn the nature of that introspection into attraction. And that all begins with a very important point. You must accentuate who you are instead of adding stuff. Let me explain. I can be quite extroverted in some situations and other situations. I'm more introverted. I don't know what's going on here, but anyways, I have this muscle of introspection, right? For a long time when I was younger, what I tried to do was to add stuff to my character, right? To be the loud guy when I wasn't in the mood to be loud, to be the small talky guy while well, actually I just like good conversation. I can't stand being on the surface too long with someone, right? I was, always, I was always adding stuff, trying to be someone I was not, until I realized, okay, this is who I am and I'm gonna make that my power. So for example, I'm good with eye contact and nonverbal sort of interplay, leaving silences and being comfortable with that. I can make women feel my energy very well and this can be quite persuasive. So I started to accentuate who I am and that's the same for you, man. That's the starting point of all of this. Stop running away or thinking that being introspective or maybe you are really more introverted, stop thinking that that's a bad thing. There is no inherent good or bad. There is simply what you are and in anything that you are, you can find power. So from now on, no more adding stuff, no more changing stuff, just who you are and to accentuate it. And so of course, all of this can be quite vague, so let's make it practical. If you know that you like good conversation and you, you don't want to stay at the surface, you're not really this quick-witted banter guy maybe, then when you are on a date, lead her to where you want to be. She wants to go where you are powerful. So however you like to connect naturally and the more attractive sides within you, lead her there, right? If you're not really the sporty guy, of course, don't go on a hike. But if you're the conversationalist type, then go there, lead her there. Get to know who you are, accentuate who you are, and then lead her into that world. That is a fundamental starting point. And please, every trait has a polar opposite both of the extremes of any polarity, there is power, right? For the extrovert, there is power in extroversion. As an introvert, there is power in introversion. There is power in silence. There is power in good conversation. There is power in your ability to understand another person better. So you just got to know who the fuck you are because women are more emotionally aligned. They can tell when you are being unauthentic, when you're trying to be someone you're not. Okay, then now let's talk about how you can turn introspection or overthinking or your tendency to analyze things into attraction. This all has to do with perception and perspective. You most likely have a tendency to lean more towards your perception of things. You're curious about your own psyche, how you see the world. You have to turn that curiosity that's under all of that. You have to move that to the other side to perspective. 
which means her perspective. Instead of being inward in your world, in your psyche, you have to go into hers. You have to put your awareness and your focus there. And a few things will happen if you do that. You will become much more relaxed. It is very hard to be anxious, uncomfortable, when you are exploring something outside of yourself, right? We get anxious when we get stuck in our own patterns of thinking. We get closed off and contractive if we live in our own psyche. So you have to turn that curiosity about your own psyche, about your own perception, you have to turn that outward and go into her perspective. You are sitting across the table of someone who has a story behind her, a life lived and a life ahead of hers. Dive into this. So again, how do we make this practical? Get curious about her perspective by asking why. I cannot begin to say how powerful this one word is. And you don't need to learn anything more than these three letters. Why? You're studying accounting. Why? Not where or how long. What is your motivation to do anything? What are the values behind the things you're talking about? Who the fuck are you essentially? The question, the question why, and forgive me if this sounds stupidly simple, will guide you into her perspective. It will put your awareness, your consciousness out of your thought patterns, out of your overthinking and analysis. And it'll put that curiosity in her world where it should be. When your focus, when your awareness is with her, that's where you can connect with someone. That's where attraction arises. Attraction cannot arise when you are in your head. So you have to go from your perception to her perspective. And the way you do that is nothing else than three letters. Why? And of course, you're not going to be asking why as if you're fucking Socrates, right? The question why is just for you to get out of your head into her world. And then you will not even notice anymore. You will not be thinking anymore about what to ask next. Guess what? It's already happening. The connection has begun. I can tell you with confidence that this is the most powerful type of attraction that you can create. Because yes, there is the physical kind of attraction, right? There is the you looking good and having good eye contact and these things, right? But then there is something that goes above all else. And that is someone who's willing to understand who they really are and someone who is successfully doing so. In history, you have a few of these courtiers that weren't the most attractive, that weren't the loudest, that, that weren't extravagant at all, but they had one skill. That was curiosity and a willingness to empathy to understand another person, and to verbalize that back to them. And when this comes natural, as it does to you being introspective, you actually have a superpower that you can start to deploy, which is to dive into her world. And as you do by asking the question why, you will go beyond this superficial, the surface level attraction. You will create something that's much, much more meaningful and powerful. You watching this video means that you're probably more introspective. You have this curiosity. And now you must turn that into a willingness to get into their world. And the advantage of all of this, you'll have more fun because you'll forget about the fact that you might be a little nervous, uncomfortable or anxious. As you go outside of your freaking head, outside of your own thought patterns, the deepest kind of attraction that one can cultivate is a willingness to understand the other person at their core and to display a curiosity towards that core. You have the natural tendency to do that exceptionally well, whether it is the girl you're dating, the idea you want to sell in your business or the next social interaction you have. And then lastly, something that I have also experienced with meeting a bunch of introspective men that want to do better in dating. It's quite likely that you're already doing well in your career or that you will be doing well in your career in the future. I think this is a very important point. If you start relying on objects, whether that be the date you plan, the restaurant you're taking her, I'd like to challenge you to have zero reliance on any objects. See, your career or your status or your money or the things you have are objects that have nothing to do with you. They're, they're outside of you, it dilutes everything. So as we talked about in the beginning, 
you want to accentuate who you are, not what you have. Not only makes the connection wildly more interesting, but also, but also make sure that you are dating the right person and that you are entertaining the right person. A successful date or successful connection has nothing to do with objects. It has everything to do with your ability to get into their world. So go out into the world and start playing with this. You'll see how powerful and how fun it is. If this was interesting to you, you have to watch this. This is the most important video you will ever watch about attraction specifically with women to start really applying your masculine energy. You will not regret this. Watch the video here. And with that said, Take care of yourself, man. I'll see you in the next one.